welcome. We have been invited here today to share with Jenna and Max a very important moment in their lives. In the time that they have been together, their love and an understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Jenna and Max, of all the men and women you have ever met, you have chosen each other as partners in life. You're here today because you're making that choice. You both are choosing each other. You're saying to one another, I choose you over all others. I choose you to love forever. Today, you choose to, ch to cross the threshold and enter into a new and lasting lifetime commitment to each other. And so now I ask you, Max, do you promise to be Jenna's friend, her faithful partner in life, and her one true love? Do you pledge in the presence of these witnesses to stay by her side in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, as well as through the good times and the bad? Do you promise to love Jenna without reservation, comfort her in times of distress, and encourage her to achieve all of her goals? Will you laugh with her and cry with her, grow with her in mind and spirit, always be open and honest with her, and will you love and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. I do. Jenna, do you promise to be Max's friend, his faithful partner in life, and his one true love? Do you pledge in the presence of these witnesses to stay by his side in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, as well as through the good times and the bad? Do you promise to love Max without reservation, comfort him in times of distress, and encourage him to achieve all of his goals? Will you laugh with him and cry with him, grow with him in mind and spirit, always be open and honest with him? And will you love and cherish him for as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. This is the point in the ceremony when people talk about the wedding bands being a perfect circle, having no beginning and no end. But we all know that these rings have a beginning. Rock is dug up from the earth. Metals are liquefied in a furnace at a thousand degrees. The hot metal is forged, cooled, and then painstakingly polished. Something beautiful made from raw elements. Love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It is the process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. The promises which you have spoken to each other today are inscribed forever in your minds and in your hearts. But words are fleeting, so let these rings serve as a reminder of the feelings you have in your hearts at this very moment. Next, take Jenna's ring. Max, you may place the ring on Jenna's finger. Jenna, you may place Max's ring on his finger. Mm -hmm. Today, you have pledged yourselves to a lifetime of caring for one another. May this be a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope and eternally renewed. As you stand before us, it is our hope that you will go through life loving, trusting, and caring for one another. From this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person. May your life together be immersed in this love. Are you ready? Yes. Now that Jenna and Max have given themselves to each other through the promises they have exchanged, by the authority given to me by the state of Kansas, I now pronounce them to be husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> it is my great honor to introduce for the very first time, Mr. Max Ming and Mrs. Jenna Lee. Congratulations. Ha <laughs> ha.